if I say unto you that the greatest rebellion in this life is to live a blissful life. The greatest rebellion is to wake up and celebrate this life. The greatest rebellion is to not to allow this life to diminish my celebration. If I tell you, how would you sit in it? The greatest rebellion. We have hoped for a peaceful world. We have hoped for a happy world. And we hope through that we can be peaceful and happy. But if you watch the evident of the world, we have always been at war. Now what is happening in Ukraine? The economical crisis in Sri Lanka, in Nepal, Pakistan, Afghanistan. What has happened to Africa? How the COVID devastated the South America. But I say to you, despite that, the greatest rebellion is to live a blissful life, to live a happy life, to live a life in celebration, despite what is happening. The demand of humanity has many now, the living demand. My masters live the truth, love lives through them. I'm a witness to it. In a world where there is no love, where there is business and commerce, in just survival and sex, they were a testament, including my father. What is the living demand of humanity now? Hope the fire of Celebration is not put out. Hope enough reason is not given so we will collapse to violence. That enough thing that is done unto us, we will quit the destiny we are here to live out. I know some of you might be cynical. I welcome you to be cynical. Some of you might not believe, Master, and I'm not asking you to believe. I'm just asking you to listen to me out. I am saying love lives. Yes, there is hatred, there is violence, there is power struggle. We spend majority of our life just finding food. No different than when you got out of the forest. You know. Now we have to pay a building, pay it off. We are almost in the fringes of devastation at all times. It is crazy, you know, a country can go bankrupt. Just baffles me. How? You have been hurt, you have been cheated, somebody has done this. You had childhood abuse. Some of you will be sexually abused, emotionally. But I'm saying that shouldn't stop us from rising to the finest that we can be. Sorry, there's the Muslim festival today. Be fitting, we are celebrating this talk too, I hope. Are we so affected, sir, that I lose my love? I lose my best wishes to another. That I lose to live the rebellion, yes. The cosmos may be dark, but I can be the sun. I think in the name of making pain and suffering real, we have become enemy to celebration. We have become enemy to humanity in its finest. More so the darker it gets, the brighter we must get. Religion tries it, you know, but sometimes, you know, people in it. 
I think every religion is. I'm not a religious man. Every religion, by its foundation, provokes us to live this rebellion. That I will not be touched, sir. I will wake up beyond it. I will hold the decency of being a human. I will act in a way that I hold the wellness of all. But we have been hurt, sir. You know what is hurt? My view. When you are asked to agree that suffering is the reality, pain is reality. We have been bullied. And made our happiness a lie, and made pain and sorrow the reality. The effort we undertake here, as foolish as some skeptics might think, it is the light left to me by my masters. He said, "Hold this light, son. Hold it. That love lives, light lives, celebration lives. That this life is an incredible beauty, not a punishment." I think love is what is despised. Light is what is despised. Without the darkness, I cannot see the light. Today, I ask you, what is the demand of humanity now? Do you know? I read this and it shocked me. Suicide is the fifth leading cause of death. I think we have stylized suffering. You know. We have been bullied. By that, we lose our joy. We lose. Yes, I am not saying I didn't suffer, sir. My car did break down the other day. You understand? As you get older, getting out of the bed is a little tricky. My insight is, sir. I am not determined by this world. I am determining the world. I am not looking for a happy life, sir. I can be happy in this life. By that, my happiness can transform my life. I think we bought into sorrow. Do you know how to be happy in a relationship? You love despite the other. Ask my wife. If anybody loves you, trust me, they are loving you despite you, sir. I'm sure my children will love me despite me. There will be some idiosyncrasy of mine. We take compliments so the other love me because one is handsome, or whatever. No, sir. Despite you, sir. I am here challenging. That misery is a lie. I'm challenging. Sorrow is made up. It cannot touch me, sir. Like how the child dances and celebrates. Yes, event happens. I wouldn't know how the Ukrainian will listen to my talk if they are listening. My heart goes out to you. Fight on. Despite the oppression and the killing, don't kill your humanity. I'm not saying don't go to war, fight. I'm not one of those gurus. But I'm speaking about a different human quality. Did I become converted to be somebody who's cynical and angry? Because that's the easiest way to escape my suffering. This institute that I'm setting up is the greatest rebellion. I'm saying you are sad, sir. I'm not denying your sadness, sir. I'm not design, de denying your misery, sir. But please don't deny when I say you are happiness, too, sir. You are blissful, too, sir. 
I don't deny this physical body doesn't have sex. But don't deny within it love doesn't live too, sir. The spiritual fellow makes a mistake. He wants to create an ideal world in which he can be happy. I can be happy in this non-ideal world. Because I have recognized I am the one who is supposed to uphold this energy. My fellow students and travelers and my disciples and my beloveds. They seem to be in an agreement with this. They are not looking for a perfect life. We do try but we can perfectly live this life, sir. Have we begun to think something must happen to be happy? Or can we wake up to realize I can wake to be happy? That is up to me. I can be sad and be bliss out of the sadness. Have we been crippled as human beings? Have we forgotten our duty, our responsibility? Have you seen a house? I'll tell you a bit about my own father. He doesn't like a sad house. You know. He blessed that man. I was so grateful to be son. He's a happy framed of mind guy. Not careless, rather serious, but he's more tuned to being happy. Happy. He celebrates happiness. Would you today sit with me, sir, and see whether you can sit with what I'm saying. I'm not trying to convert your mask. I don't have a religion. I don't have a teaching as such to give you. But I have this to offer. I have been made to live in the world of effect. If I eat chocolate, dopamine goes up, I get happy. Then I get convinced it is outward in. But one can very quickly detox from that and realize I am the one who brings happiness. The demand for humanity now is critical. You know, we have to hold this life. We have to celebrate this life. We have to live the preciousness. Sorrow, sadness has led us into a mind of suicide. We are willing to hit the nuclear button. No happy man kills another, you know. And more so, when we build our entire personality based on our suffering, we are nothing but the suffering creator. I am challenging the truth that I'm only designed for sex and survival, for trade, for relief, for biological need. I am challenging that, sir. And I'm saying, I might have all of it, but I'm also love. I'm also happiness. I'm also the one who's the guardian of your well-being. This is not a quote, you know, just a statement. This is my living truth. This is the challenge I live out day in, day out, month in, month out, year in, year out. This is like an upholding of a tradition. I see Chief and his wife Gisela there. Welcome, Chief. They were very kind to me. When I was in Vancouver, they took me in into their culture. And I always say they are the living, they uphold that culture. They took thousands of years to develop. They gave me a native Indian name. And what are they? Upholding of that, you understand? If, if it falls, it disappears. And we are the upholder of this culture of humanity, of beauty, of decency, of love, brotherhood, friendship. I am not denying, I'm not asking you to fake, I'm asking you to see the other part is there too. But I'm saying we quit to sorrow because we couldn't rebel to happiness, sir. We took sorrow personally and we took the sorrow and built our, our image. And then we pretend to look for happiness. By that we become an enemy to happiness. 
I don't mean to dismiss any of your sorrow. I'm sure you're sad, you're upset. I, I, my happiness should not dismiss your sorrow. My happiness must show you that sorrow can transform to happiness. Do you understand? Certain people say, you know, well, ever since Master became awake or whatever that happened to me, I always had to apologize to people. I said, I'm so sorry I'm this. Because they think my reality, what I am, dismisses their reality. I'm not dismissing your sorrow. I'm saying you don't dismiss what your sorrow can come to be. What love can come to be. What is the demand of humanity? What do you think it is? I think we must become optimistic again, you know. We have been cheated many times by many people. I think we can't trust anybody's optimism. We have to become optimistic. We have to turn our home, our house into a home, our relationship into something precious. We, it's part of us. It is our duty not to wait for happiness, but to engage. Depression and all this is something more dictating you. I understand there are clinical conditions. But I think I have an ability over my own happiness. Right? So I ask you, would you undertake the greatest rebellion? It's a rebellion, you know. And everybody upholds certain, certain rebellion. My gratefulness to Chief and Giselle, they hold a light that there is no way I could have stumbled upon if they have not been kind to share it with me. They are an upholder of a tradition. Me too. I uphold this tradition that says, you, as you are, is to be awakened to this great light that you are. But we are not going to that. We are just asking a fundamental question. Our sorrow has become so real. Yes, we are at war, sir. Right now. But we are better than that, sir. My view of sorrow is you quit transforming it. You quit. You gave in to this energy. Do you know they want us to be unhappy so we shop more? They want us to be unhappy so we will drink that Coca-Cola that has nine spoons of sugar in it and die of diabetes. They want us. Of course they want us. They want us to constantly be looking for happiness. And we miss it when we look at ourselves in the mirror that I am the source of happiness. Do you know, I've traveled the world, done a lot of things. I never found anywhere love is a source, you know, there's no well, no nothing. We seem to be the source of love, you know. That's pretty pathetic. Seems to be the source of living being. I know you will reject this statement. You said, no, master, you don't understand. I got hurt. I was done this. They cheated me. They lied to me. They... I'm saying, yes, they did, sir. But that doesn't dismiss what you are, sir. My bliss is my registration of me, not my hurt. Yes, the psychologists are right when they can analyze your past, your mother, your father, and how you are now. It is what you need to drop. There is a movement in the world is to make you sad, make you depressed, make you upset. Sometimes you're in a relationship, I've seen two people trying to prove each other don't love each other. I'm like, what are you doing? They actually will prove, you know, to the other, you don't love me at all. How to argue with that? My invitation for humanity is this, no? We got a role to play. I am the holder of it. 
Like, have you ever had a nice party? You kind of make sure the dinner party, the people you want to call as a guest, right? You don't bring the party pooper into the into a dinner party. You know, he will ruin it, right? You bring people that want to be happy and laugh and tell jokes and a good time. I think we were taught we will be taken seriously if you are suffering, sir. Sir. I am saying darkness is false. It is merely there to remind I am the light. So my hurt has become when I allowed something to dictate me, when I've just been a byproduct of an effect. You know, the other day I was listening to this doctor's talk. He's talking about fasting. He says, we are all junkies. This is according to him. He said, sugar is as bad as cocaine. I'm not a doctor, sir. I'm someone who needs a doctor. I'm not a doctor. But I was shocked. And he said, the product, the flour and all that that we take blocks the prefrontal. So we are not sane, he said. We are not making rational decisions, they say. My God. His argument is we are outside of nature. Say anything processed is a product, it's not food. It's a beautiful argument, you may want to listen to him. So we say we are doped. I have memories of sitting with Chief in the circle. I even have a couple of drums. Forgot the songs though. Singing. Together. A bunch of guys getting together in a tight space and sweating is something I need to get used to. <laughs> but it was a wonderful thing of them upholding the community. You know? I think it's an incredible intelligent, you know. There's such a beauty to it. Almost any culture, I've been to the Aboriginal culture, they do the same thing. They play the didgeridoo and they wake the energy up. I've been everywhere. Could it be it's simply asking me to participate? But what is here? Like I jokingly will say, you know, many times to my student, I don't need a hug. There's a theme. We're, we're going to launch a T-shirt. So I'm kidding. Because when you hug me, you, you are telling me I'm not loved. No, I'm capable of loving. I'm capable of being loved. I don't need you to convince me I'm not loved. If you want to hug me because I'm loved, I, go ahead and hug anyway. We have been programmed against ourselves. I'm saying, wake up. One thing don't have to change. You can change. You can hold. Make your home that a celebration, a delight. There is a knowing in the East, you know, they call it the Buddha feel. The Buddha feel is when one attains. Around him, there is spontaneous celebration, love flowing. And that's the battle, you know. He has woken up. They say he is awake. I have been to my master's tomb that have died many, many thousands years ago. Till today, the energy is fresh. They become the source of that, whatever you want to call it, divine beauty, love, celebration. But the trouble is, if you're a blissful person, you can't be controlled. If you're a happy person, you can't be bribed, sir. I think there is an insistence in you becoming miserable. If not, how will you buy the latest car or whatever that you do? We are asking the question ourselves, today's subject, we are asking the question. The living demand of humanity. We are asking the question, what is the living demand of humanity? Master proposer, would you join the celebration? It feels so wrong. You know why it feels like I'm betraying my suffering. You get what I'm saying? It feels like I'm betraying what has happened. It's like somebody is raped. I've worked with them before. It's almost to be happy is betraying what has happened to them. Is it a betrayal? You are happy despite. We are made to be loyal to our suffering. And we are trying to make suffering real.
that is why the interpersonal relationship eventually there is an accounting of how much you hurt me how much i hurt you not the accounting how much you made me happy and how much i made you happy then they argue to tell each other how much they have hurt each other i'll say stop tell me how much you made each other happy i think there is an unconscious demand it's a biology to make pain real you know why to avoid it you don't have memory walking on a on a grass that is comfortable you have a memory stepping on a thorn you have to register the pain so the next time you don't step on the thorn but i think that is a survival instinct has now become a registration of every suffering so i become a walking suffering i'm saying you are saying you are suffering is a lie sir i don't mean to make your suffering a lie but i'm saying that suffering is a lie of course there are people out there you know they want to heal you they want to make you happy they want to you no know, that's their profession i think it's an exploitation but the world is the world but then you may ask then i don't have a source for somebody sir it will be so lovely somebody believe i made them happy you know i have a role to play you understand like somebody comes and tell i love you and you feel like wow i am the source of that person's love but by that you tell you are not love you need my love for you to feel love do you see sir i think as a human species we have exploited each other how else to hold another person if i am not the source of happiness now i ask why are we interested in the enslavement of another only by enslaving another if they stay with you then that is not love sir love is love sir somebody will love you because they love you there's this conditioning that you have to be gorgeous you have to be this that people are putting plastic in their body hoping somebody will love them and i think that's a sorrow sir you may ask master why didn't you get any plastic surgery the surgeon said he can't help me no matter what he does so i quit and you can say that is why master is taking this position that's perfectly fine but despite being this way i am so loved i know what you're thinking i have many disciple with eyesight problem leave them alone I'm saying sir I am a celebration I say this might be a beautiful statement I'm enlightened despite this you know I'm enlightened with this error no way close to perfection you should have seen me attack the chocolate last night you didn't have a chance I'm not allowed to eat it but it was left outside There was a battle between it and me. Chocolate lost badly. But despite that, sir, despite my anger, despite my shortcoming, despite my error, I am loved too. I am the source of my happiness. I am free. I am that very light for this dark world as you are. So, what is the demand of humanity? Let's not feed into this. this paranoia let's not feed into sorrow happy family produce happy children sir the rest is nothing but somebody needs another to be pathetic for them to have power over them but let me i'm going off topic the work we do here is to uphold this light that you are the light uphold the light you are the source of happiness uphold the light you are free you are independent uphold the truth we shape this life not life shapes us alone i agree with the darwinian theory that that we are from evolution but because we are based on evolution now we can evolve freely but please forgive me really for real me I don't mean to dismiss the sorrow, the pain, the the agony that you have gone through, the PTSD. I think this COVID has given us all a PTSD, isn't it? 
I have been sitting in this room alone and speaking to a monitor for the last two years. So can I now? As so I once I and Chief were talking, we, we never have been trying to do it. He said, we must create 10,000 drums or a million drums around the world. As one heartbeat we beat to wake humanity. Like it's astonishing to see the amount of people helping the Ukrainian, the amount of people that are stepping up. I don't know whether I trust the politician, but I trust the people though. I'm quite certain if I faint in the road, someone will pick me up, someone. Someone will help me out. Right? I'm alone, but I'm not all alone. So what is the greatest rebellion? Where you are, exactly how you are rebel. I tell you a beautiful incident recently, just four days ago, one of my closest disciples, somebody I've known for 20 years, had open heart surgery. He had a hole in the heart. That explains why his love life didn't work. It kept spilling out. So he had to go through a surgery at 53. They patched it up. They pulled him back. We were very worried, you know, it's a dangerous procedure. The next day, I was doing a celebration, a class. He owned and celebrated with us. I said, thanks, son. Thank you. That you didn't, didn't use that as a source of sorrow. Despite that you celebrated, you learned something. You are freed now, son. Have they tricked you? You need this, that and the other to be happy. Or is that the effort that I must live the greatest rebellion? The institute that Master has set is a tradition. It's an old tradition. And part of the tradition is to hold this truth of me. For me to remind me I'm this and to exercise it. Because there are forces telling me otherwise. And the forces are not just human made. No? It's just byproduct of effect. You understand? If you have a near drowning experience, you'll be afraid of the water. It's a natural reaction. It's a biological thing and it's healthy too. It's healthy too. Because it tells you, don't step on the thorn. But taken deeper, we betray what we are. I know you are sad. Despite it, can you celebrate? I know you are upset. Despite that. I can love you, sir, despite disagreeing with you. It has nothing to do with this. Has our logic run us over? Have we become crippled that we don't have the power of our own senses? What we need to wake up. I am not part of any religion, ideology, psychology. So, so, no. I'm just part of this rebellion. And I hold testament, you are love. I hold testament, you are joy. I hold testament, you are enlightenment. Somebody asked, you know, what did you attain in enlightenment? I said, the sight to see everybody is that too. So there's nothing special here. A few guys went to the moon. They carried all of us though, isn't it? It's a proof that humanity can go. Oh, I have built a life based on sorrow and the memory of sorrow that it has created a personality and I cannot free myself from that self. My entire story is out of my suffering. Have I got trapped by it? Has my body got registered by it? In Hindu, there's a statement that they call it, he is in Sada Ananda. Sada means perpetually happy, perpetually blissed out. It is a state of personal recognition and an attainment to free oneself from everything that has touched oneself. Suddenly one is in this pure state, you know, which is your true state to be in deep celebration. Jesus said it beautifully. He used like a child. So enter my kingdom of God. I'm not talking about enlightenment. Not, don't worry about it. It's a deeper subject. I'm just talking and questioning about this. Have I given myself into it? And it's usually initiated. If you have a miserable mother, you have learned how to be miserable. 
If you have miserable people, they will teach you how to be miserable. The greatest way to raise a child, the mothers must be happy. No, you are, if you don't mind, trying to make something real which is not real. It's just an experience, an event, that's all. Will Ukraine survive? They will. Will they rebuild? They will. We have survived World War II, World War I. We have survived all kinds of things. Will we heal? Of course we will. Will humanity wake up? I have to believe so, sir. Despite humanity. You have to believe in love despite your heart being broken. You have to believe that life can be beautiful despite. There are evidence. That's all you need. You just need one person to climb Everest to know a human being can climb. I am saying this biology is designed to be blissful and happy. It has been conditioned by the ego, which is built out of suffering. The real teaching, if there is one, is this, you know, I am able to put myself in a happy frame of mind. And I celebrate. Because when you celebrate, you love. When you're happy, you love. And we will build a world with that. If not, we're building a world proving there is no love. When people are arguing, you know, scientists are saying we are nothing but sex and survival. I said, maybe, sir. But within there, there's something decent too, sir. Something beautiful too, sir. So the effort we are undertaking is to wake this. The six disciplines are nothing but the principles to hold you in this space. And this is the mystery. You are looking for something that will make you happy. I am saying, if you are happy, that thing will look for you. I don't know whether you agree with it. The, the, the ancient cultures agree with it. You know, they will celebrate before planting. They'll celebrate when it's growing. They'll celebrate harvesting and then they repeat it. Suddenly for them, the mountain is sacred. The earth is sacred. Now we think they're just old fools. We lost the capacity to look at that mountain sacred. Our mothers are sacred. Our wives are sacred. Our children are sacred. Sacred comes when I'm not determined by the lower. Thus the lotus was used. By Buddha as a symbol. It happened, Buddha was sitting quietly one day. There's 10,000 people listening to him. I'm not sure whether it was on Zoom. Probably. <laughs> he was sitting. And that day he didn't speak, you know. He, he was quiet. He was silent. People were getting restless. Buddha always speaks, but he's not speaking. Suddenly, one of the disciples, if I pronounce his name, I'll make a mess. Another Buddhist, Mahakaisha. He started bursting out laughing, you know. Real laughter, joyful laughter. Buddha took the lotus, gave it to him. He said, what I can give with words, I've given it to them. What that is beyond word, I've given it to you. He held the lotus. And th the story ends there. You know? 500 years later, Bodhidharma appears in China. And he said, hi, he who holds the flower fresh. It's a very beautiful symbology. It means one, despite the mud, mud of this body, I bloom. Despite being judged and prosecuted and being racist and whatever that has happened to me, I still bloom. And that's the symbology I read. It is a sign of attainment. Sometimes you can see a statue Buddha holding the lotus. I'm saying you are good. I'm not promising you to be happy. I'm saying you already are. You just committed to the memory all the suffering and created an ego that it shouldn't happen, sir. I am an internal celebration, sir. That's what I came to. I am that very source, sir. Of what we are seeking outside for life to can be. 
but then i have to give up being the man the woman i am the source hmm just a ego trip right because we want to be the source of somebody's happiness then they owe us right my view is nobody owes me anything in freedom maybe today the demand of the living time living demand now the hu- human demand can we wake up to decency and believe despite the facts are there are women being trafficked killed many of us will work and die sir just to give our children a better life i agree it looks bleak and dark and painful and now recession is looming we don't know the effect of covid after 2 years we don't know how the world is going to take china is having a problem trade routes are having a problem it's going to be coming up maybe this is the time eh, chief we pick up a drum and start singing to create the right energy pick up something and to celebrate and what is that you know it's not something mystical going to help you i wake up to be a mystic i become the source i become the point of liberation has that been removed from you i'm i'm just asking i really don't mean to go quite assaulting i'm just trying to remind you we become happy of an, with another despite them you know people are people right not that they are not there are no people that you cannot be happy with of course there are but i rather be safe despite them i can be happy then i'm in love for what they are too you see life is a more positive i suspect we needed to be enslaved and because of that this was robbed and and we cure our children out of the bliss they are birthed in so we bribe them happiness in the future so go get a nice education and go work in the bank and be somebody that the world will respect maybe you can be happy i think the search of happiness is bogus i am the source is up to me you may ask me the question what would i do master if if my wife runs away with a milkman stop drinking milk idiot that's it what else are you going to do thank you I know you'll tell me master it's easier said than done that's meditation Meditation is very simple now put a light in front and remind yourself i am that light remind i am this celebration now i'm asking are you the sorcerer i i i i know some people here that are they are very dear i met till today i talk i've met a lot of doctors kind man I owe him. He's very kind to me. I know kindness lives. I'm just reminding you. Know, I'm not bribing him. I'm just reminding. Kind. Kindness lives. You guys have a chance. Go meet Chief. A beautiful human being. A living tradition. An embodiment. There are people, isn't it, that we have met? I commit to my memory all the kind people the others I have a short term memory loss I cannot forget about them right. Right. like there's a disciple of boy in in Stockholm come on what an inspiration He's trying to save africa do so many things we are highlighting the idiots i am a testament you know people are beautiful people are kind i know what you might think is his master asking me to be a fool what else to be what has happened to us that has not happened to another human being i'm not asking you to follow a path 
the promise of a perfect life. I'm asking you to find out how can you live this life perfectly. I remember in India, I visited it, I went to a village and it, there were some statue makers. Beside that is this family, you know, husband, wife, few kids, small hut. I was standing there. She said, why don't you st sit here? There's a shade and offered me drinks and I'm looking at them and I'm going, hmm. We probably make two dollars US a day or a dollar US. And that was not a bribe, you know, they honestly, compassion. Have you been convinced that you are not that? Have anybody accused you of bringing hurt to them? And by that you quit you? Now what does humanity need? Believers. I, I don't have a belief to give you, believe in this God or that God, I don't know. For me, humanity is my belief. To believe the future generation will correct my generation's error, like how I fight to correct the generation before me. And for this, one can undertake this simple exercise. What I'm accusing life, what am I accusing life? I'm saying, I'm accusing life for loving me. Try doing that to somebody. Nah, you love me. Nah, you like me. You walk around. <laughs> I know it can be a bit awkward. Accuse life. Say it will support life. Don't buy into this paranoia. And become depressed. Suicide, most often, is the end of the road, you know. You've given up every hope that life can be anything more than what it is right now. And this is an internal exercise, you know. A life in celebration, a life in faith, sir. The rest is a misunderstanding. I always say, I'm a boy from a fishing village, you know, to remind me, come far, son. I have no reason to be upset. Yes, my car had a bit of a problem the other day. I'm so sad, but it's a Bentley. And I got so depressed, I'm going to go buy another one. <laughs> I didn't even know such a car existed when I was a boy. We have mothers and fathers and friends and neighbors and we have, you know. I am living a life as a testament. People are beautiful, people are decent. People are amazing. This life is a gift. Yes, there are some pain, it happens. But I'm more than that, you understand? And I'm not interested in being somebody's source of happiness. I'm here to remind them they are the source, they are free of me. And if this shift happens inside you, you become a creator, Brahma. They said the highest attainment in the Hindu ideology, you attain a state, the 18th state, they call it. I'm only offering the world the first six right, in there's actually 18. The 18th is Aham Brahmasmi. I am Brahma, I am the creator. People loosely translate it to I am, the, I am God. No, 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 they say I am the creator. I am creating. Every one of your life has been touched rightly or wrongly by someone they are creating. Somebody created this Zoom. I get to sit and talk here in my room. Would you join the celebration, sir? Would you not hate me? Do not reject because you want another person to be miserable. I have an allergy for sad, miserable people. It's a medical condition. I have a problem with those people because they have to find some reason to be miserable. Despite hating somebody, try to see within you this love there too. Maybe we hate because our love makes us do something against ourselves. Maybe that's why we have to hate. 
because I'll give away my last dollar to you and I hate myself for doing it because my survival is at stake. So I hate you to protect myself because my love can overwhelm me. Would you consider if I tell you we are the answer? What is the demand of humanity now? What is the living demand? You and I have to wake up to whole pizza. That's my piece of it. Across nation, across interests, beyond color, greed. Or we have been convinced by this body. There's a beautiful statement by Kudambai, and I said, "Ame pol." ஐந்து மடக்கி திரிகின்ற ஊமைக்கு முக்தியடி குதம்பாய் ஊமைக்கு முக்தியடி இஸ் ஏ லைக் அ டோட்டிஸ் வென் யூ விட்ரா த ஃபைவ் சென்சஸ் அண்ட் யூ அண்ட் யூ ட்ராவல் த வேர்ல்ட் இஸ் அ மியூட் யூ பிகம் அண்ட் லைட் அண்ட் யூ பிகம் அண்ட் லைட் வட் இஸ் சேங் டோன்ட் லெட் யுவர் சென்சஸ் ட்ரிக் யூ Would you be part of that celebration, sir? I'll finish shortly. The institute, the disciplines that I've put down, are the exploration or the tools I feel one needs to live this for real. And the first thing we do is we transform our misery. We are not living to find happiness. Happiness living. You understand? I'm not living to be successful. Success is living. I'm not living to look for love, sir. I'm, I'm living to find someone to exhaust my love. By that, you are not dismissed, sir. Like I speak of everybody in my life that has touched me in some way, responsible for what i am they affected me so my father did my teacher did my grandmother did so many beautiful people so many you know so i cannot be sad about this world i have family everywhere from sweden to germany to vancouver to la i have If you ever have a chance, you know, I was birthed as a Hindu, so I'll give some example. You go to the Indian temple, they'll pray to a god, Shiva, Muruga. And at the end of the climax, they'll hold a light up. You know. There'll be many lights, they hold light up. It's almost to represent that that you're praying to exist everywhere and to uphold that light, you know, the Sangalpam. Yes, it exists so hard. I'm in pain. I was bullied, I was hurt, I was conquered, I was enslaved, I'm in pain, but they said don't. Despite that wake up to that light, they said. Yes, sir. I am enlightened. Or well, that has happened to me. And what is that meaning one of it in this context is there is no I to prevent me from confessing. I am the effector too. I'm not the only factor but I'm an effector. To say I am love to anbum sivamum irandan bavar arivila. I cannot give it to you. I can help you to realize you are that too. You get what I'm saying? And this is the first discipline what I put down. in celebration we live not today maybe if you like if you are kind let's celebrate humanity let's be grateful to everybody in our lives you understand let's take away from the person who raped us and look at the person who loves us from the pe- person that didn't trust us to the person that trusted us i am nothing but a guru to pity and let me sit in his grace for me to wake up to remember i am him too if there is something spiritual that's all i'm offering and what is happening nothing is happening just sitting in this energy together 
in celebration. Yes, sir, I've been abused, sir. I've been attacked, killed, murdered, raped, bombed, put into enslavement. Now I have to work nine to ten hours a day to just take care of my family. I've been lied to, cheated. But I refuse to believe, sir, that you're only sadness. I believe you're sad. I refuse to believe you're only sadness, sir. I, if at all, has any qualities, a reminder of what you can be. And if I'm the reminder, you got to get better. That's how my master was just a reminder. They didn't give me anything else. You know, they held me through to myself. That's how my father's did. That's how your, all your mothers would have, you know, in their own best, in best way. Where God, mother doesn't love a child. There will be one somewhere. Where have mothers don't love a child? It almost, I had to be a parent to know how it feels, how it feels to be a parent, you know. Who among you will not take a bullet for your child? And you have been loved. You don't need me to love you, please. That's a cult. You have been loved. Right. I finish with this story, you know. The other day, they were celebrating Master's Enlightenment Day, the 24th of April. So they, they were doing in Sweden, there's a temple. They do. And this ceremony was going on. It's a very beautiful ceremony. And I, I couldn't be there, so I was in a Zoom in the home. My daughter has a little business where she bakes cake and sells. While that is going on, I was telling you, I was at home and she forced, not forced me, ordered me to fold the boxes for her. And I said, how beautiful. How beautiful. And I said, more than being in the ceremony, being a father, folding some boxes with great protest, you understand? Forced by my daughter, to me was a greater acknowledgement of me. Not that I, I deny the puja was beautiful. But that's, that's love. That's my daughter loving me. I cannot deny, sir, I have been loved. As I hope you don't deny. Maybe what we can do today, if you guys like, let's celebrate for humanity. Let's celebrate. Ukraine will be okay. The world will be okay. We'll do what has to be done. Let's hold the light of humanity. Let's not break this ancestry, you know. They have passed on, no? hold my, hold my happiness. It's like almost when you give your daughter's hand to somebody to marry, you say, please love her, continue to love her as how I have loved her. Please adore her as how I have loved her. Isn't that what it is? It's a... I think that's what life is. That's what I think. Can I leave you now, this? You can do some celebration. For humanity. Thank you. You've been very kind.